Hi Lee, just a uh, quick recap uh, from your lesson the other day. Um, just to sort of continue on what we were working on. We'll have a look at it from the down the line view, uh, first of all. So, main thing again is, is still the swing plane. You can see uh, that as you take the club back, the club has a bit of a tendency to work a little bit too far to the inside and it's a little bit low and under the plane. So, as we've said, from, from here it kind of lifts and ends up coming down a little bit too steep, leading to that sort of out and across path through the ball. Um, from the from the other angle, again, what we saw was a little bit long and a little bit of a, a tendency to hang back on that right side, so to just drop back on that right side, which, as we've mentioned, is is one of the main causes why you tend to hit slightly behind the ball or up on the ball. Um, it can it can cause you to do both of those things, um, and that's something we'll we'll have to work on again in the future. But the main thing was the the swing plane issue. Now, what we did, we gave you a couple of little drills. The first one we did was we basically just put some some obstacles in the way and um, when we tried this at first what we basically saw was the backswing still going in a little bit too much but with the obstacles in the way obviously it forced you to have to do something different on the way down and you know on the downswing you came down much better and much more on plane than in the previous swing. So this was really good, you know, we've got the club coming slightly under the plane for for once. Um, you know, a little bit more rotation in the body would lead to the club getting more on plane there, but you know, that's closer to what we're looking for. I mean, you were catching these a little bit off the toe, which is why they were shooting off to the right. But um, you know, it's a much better angle to approach the uh, the ball from, like I say, if you had a little bit more rotation there, you'd find that the club would actually be a little bit more on plane. But um, that was that was a lot better. But we it, we still had the problem of obviously taking the club inside. So um, what we did was we gave you another little drill, which was the uh, the wrist cocking straight up, and you can see now that. As you then turn, we got the club into a um, into a much better position halfway back. So I'm a lot more a lot more on plane going back there as opposed to this very flat horizontal plane that we were swinging the club on before. I think long term we're going to have to work on just trying to shorten it up a touch, but you know don't worry about that at the moment. And again, that led to a much more, much shallower, more on plane downswing. This one we caught out the centre of the club face, as opposed to that sort of inside and and over move that you've got uh, on the old one. All right, Lee, so um, continue with those drills. I know it's going to feel a little bit weird and a little bit funky to you at the moment, but uh, if you stick with it, you know, we're, we're on the right track. It obviously takes time to to convince the brain that this is the right way to go, but uh, as long as we can keep seeing progress in each lesson, and obviously what we've got to ultimately do is find a way as we turn back to feel the wrist just set in a little bit earlier so it actually elevates the club up a little bit more and makes it easier to swing back up the plane. Now this was this was a really good one. The one thing you've got to watch out for when you do the drill, and I think we did it on this one here. That wasn't too bad. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, that one there, you can see 
you can see you've cocked it up um, you haven't quite didn't quite cock it up as much as you did on the left hand side here and as a result when you start to turn the club got a little bit flat again so make sure you've got a nice full 90 degree wrist cock there and then as you turn let the hands come in the shaft's going to feel a lot steeper at that point and what generally tends to happen is that if it if it goes back steeper it generally tends to come down shallower okay whereas obviously the old problem we had was that when it goes back flat it tends to come down steep all right so it's a bit of an opposite uh, reaction so just keep working on it You're doing really well happy with your progress and uh, I hope that's clear to you any problems as always just give me a shout but uh, I look forward to seeing you next time and seeing how how that's improved and, and progressed okay Lee well done